all right youtube and people of the channel welcome back uh so you can clearly see over there i am not completely finished i just need uh the panel that goes like for right like right here on that side but that's on there uh the two bottom screws are on uh i haven't done the actual uh i didn't drill or put the the clips i already marked the holes but what is it one two three four five making five of them on top and then of course the side panel on the other side and the two are already on the bottom they're already on there one and two um but the only thing that kind of bothers me is that little opening there um still debating on what i want to do maybe on the back side put a use that that thin aluminum aluminum oh there goes the light and put it behind there you know you know figure something out there uh, but there she is and it was a pain in the butt to bend um like to bend it really good a 90 degree and then that one's i think 60 or 70 degrees with that little tool my dad gave me to use over there actually you can see that circle um tells you how many degrees of an angle it is but um yeah ah if i ever get to do another one like this i'll do it completely different um the simple fact of this area over here uh, i wanted to see you can see there's some little marks there i don't know if you'll see it you see i wanted to to continue the top part i wanted it all the way across so all i had to do was just the the plate and the bottom part and right here would be all even and then the one and a half centimeter uh, tab and just bolt it right there but i i i kind of messed up there my little mess up there but um i mean other than that the um, it's all it's it, this is fine you know but uh i would have done it a little bit differently with the like i said I, instead of doing like that i should have just continued all the way across from this point this corner and all the way but you learn as you go so like i said the next one i'll do a little bit differently but um technically she's already done ish so at this point like i said i gotta just make them holes um screws i gotta find some screws for them because i already ran out of the factory screws so at this point i'm gonna use some i don't know silk tappers or, or u-clip ones i might i might do some self tappers i don't know i'll see what happens um but just the panel over there and i need to cut out a panel for that side over there but um I cut the the ac vents and then if I want to, I don't know, I'm still debating maybe the blood box. But uh, this video, I'm not going to upload it tonight. Today's what? Tuesday? Yeah. I'm not going to upload tonight. This is going to be just an... It's just too short of a video. It's not worth. Um, so the next part you'll see me is probably have those uh, screws in. Those cut out. And then the, the panel. And then here, I'm still debating on what to do. But for now, I'm just going to set up the gauge panel for now then the rest i'm gonna see if i can go on amazon tonight and see if i can get some more of these if they got them if not like i said in the last video i'll go online to find them uh ignore the battery that's there that's just to, to see for me to see um i don't know if i want side post or the top post like i said there's the battery that's in this truck is good this one that's a that's a new one i bought about what two years ago three years ago 2019 damn this is for my red Chevrolet, the one I painted, or we painted, me and my dad painted. Um, I was at Walmart, the truck didn't want to crank anymore. The battery was dead, and the battery was old. It was from, I think, Napa. And I was there at Walmart, I said, man, I just picked myself up the cheapest, you know, 78 group. This is the Chevy battery right here. If you don't know, the side post is always a Chevy battery. And they had the cheapest one, which is that one, and... I mean, up to now, it hasn't failed me. Um, but I took it out of the red truck because it's not it's not movable, movable at the moment. It's kind of blocked in the way. I mean, yeah, it's blocked in the way to you know, move it. So I took the battery out to charge it, and I just have it as a spare. 
And when I went to pick up this truck, I took the battery with me. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, the battery, I don't, like I said, the, the one that's, that's in this truck, it's just almost the same size. It's just top post. I just have it there to, to guesstimate what I'm going to do. As long as it doesn't, you know, affect where I'm going to have the pedal, foot on the pedal. I need to add some oil. I don't know if the pedal itself or the cable, but, uh, I know the carpet back here is kind of blocking the way a little bit. So that may might have to do a little bit. But anyways, um, less rambling and me hurry up and finish this little part so I can go home. But anyways, I got that part done. So tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, if I got my days right, I think. Whatever, I lost my days. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's tomorrow's Wednesday. Anyways, um, I'll go and, like I said, get that done. The screws, holes, and then the uh, AC vents cut out, and then the panel over there. And that should be done. Um, it's kind of tricky. That one's not like a uh, loose fit where all oh, it's nice. That one's a little bit under tension ish. But um, once you release the bottom ones and take the top ones slowly, it should just slide right out because um, it's inward. Like I said, it's. Let's see, there you go. So, yeah, pretty much uh, that'll be it. So, tomorrow, another day, paradise. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow, and yeah. All right, it is January the 5th. It's the next day, quote unquote. Uh, the dash is complete. So, let me take you on to the passenger side, you know, show you what I did. Um, so, the dash is complete at this point. The dash and you know not the dash panel or the gauge panel but the actual dashboard's done um i would recommend up here to use um hex bolt deal screws whatever um or self tappers which i did here which i ran out of of uh, factory screws so this area is all different this is all harbor freight provided stuff now i'm not sponsored i'm just saying this is the stuff that i use i'll show you in a minute um, so five screws up here with its U-clips, four self-tappers right here. And then down here, somehow I managed to strip this one out. And so I got a, a bolt nut, lock nut, lock nut, lock washer and a regular washer there. And the only factory, um, deal there. Um, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's, it's complete. The dash panel and the gauges, all that, that's a different video. And like I said, I got to hook up wiring and everything. And plus, I'm going to be, I'm, tonight, I'm going to start working on the engine bay. That's a whole different video. I got a couple of things that I'm going to do to it already. Um, and also, yesterday, I bought um, online. Amazon ran out of these, of course. Uh, part number, Jet Grand General, you know. Uh, part number 68408, top of my head. Uh, they're out of stock still. And I said, you know what? I'm going to look it up on the internet. I did. And uh, Amazon said they had it, but it's a lie. Because I know because it, it told me, you're, hey, we're still out of stock. And then the website itself, you know, I already told you the story. And there's this Chrome shop, which I will link down in the, the description below. And which I'm going to call it. They were roughly $10, about the right price. And... I ordered five because this one's already been used and then the one, two, three that are left that I need to put in, uh, the last one, put it back into the tool room because I took that one out and I don't want to put it back and be an asshole and use no new ones. Um, anyways, so I ordered them. They were $50 then plus tax and shipping, uh, roughly 64 which is not bad. And... Um, there's a lot of other Chrome stuff I can get from that, from that website. Uh, can't remember the website name at the top of my head. Something Chrome. Big Rig Chrome, I think. I think. Don't quote on me on that. Uh, but on Amazon, I did buy some brake pads for the front because the passenger side needed some attention really bad. Because when I took the old, uh, tires and rims, which are going to be the spares, um, that, this side was good, but the other side was like, the, I mean, it was it was close. The little wear indicator, 
was barely touching. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to use the truck right now. And I luckily, I caught it good because I didn't feel like buying a whole rotor. That means I would have bought two brand new rotors and they're, they're expensive and they're six lug. Because these aren't like the four wheel drives where you just, oh yeah, rotor comes off. Voila. Mm. This is all hub and everything integrated. So I was like, yeah, no. I could have got the eight lug if I wanted to, if that would come down. But then the rear end is six lug still. So it makes no sense. Uh, but luckily it's a 14 bolt rear end. So I'm good. It's thinking haul. But um, let me show you the stuff I use from Harbor Freight. Uh, you already seen this one. Uh, there's a big screw on the middle section, which is this one, and I think I used one of these two. So the one of these two I used, I think it's this big one. I think. Well, one, I can't remember which one it is, but one of these two and that big screw. The ones I've been using are these, which there are very few now. Um, number eight. And then... Those five screws are from here, and those U-clips are this one right here, so number six. So those are the ones I used. That one bolt washer, lock washer, is this one right here. I'm ready about three quarters. That one right there. Um, and then the self-tappers, uh, whatever is left in this box, I just used the smallest one. Which is number eight by three quarters. Yeah. And with all bolts and screws and all that, I put anti seize because at some point I'm going to have to be taking on and off. It's slightly rusty. So, yeah. Um, so it's complete. It is like no more fabricating, no more, more nothing. All I got to do is clean it up. I need to sand it, get rid of the little rust that's on it there because somehow the little rust got on there but nowhere else. Uh, clean it. Put some rust inhibitor, whatever over there. Kill it, send it down, and then prime it, um, and then get it painted the same color of the interior. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot about the, the Amazon stuff. Uh, I got the brake pads. Um, I also ordered switches, heavy duty, um, on and off switches. There were eleven pack for. I think, 11 or 17 pack but they were like 11 dollars it was cheap um heavy duty 20 amp so i got those coming in and then i got the tdi rebuild from ac delco and then these that i got from my project truck the 95 one that's still in the shop this is the old one like i said from that truck but i also bought the transdap you know spacer and then the actual throttle body injector spacer uh, <clears throat> I can't quite show you. If there's one laying around here somewhere, maybe. Or I threw it away. More likely, I threw it away. But it's like a like a Y T-ish looking shape. It's what holds the actual injectors on top. Also, I also bought that. Um, because this motor is running rich. I'm gonna. I plan to change the fuel filter, rebuild the throttle body, and. Do all this modification because the intakes, performance intake, and then this ain't gonna be here no more because it's gonna be a different setup. And once I got air and fuel, headers are next. But for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on these because in order to get inspected, uh, I don't need a, a exhaust leak that can catch on fire. So I'm gonna get that fixed. Despite well, you can wait. Uh, money's kind of a little tight, and I'm working with all the parts I already got. The intake's leaking, I mean, the exhaust is leaking from over here, so take that off, work on this stuff. But, um, I read online, I asked this on my Facebook forums, uh, apparently the, um, the map sensor could be one, EGR, which is, I'm gonna delete it, um, out of control, TPMS sensor, a bunch of other things, and the, the temperature sensor, sen uh, sensor that goes to the gauge for the factory is right here, it's broken. The actual one that goes to the computer, the one that controls your fuel and all that, is this one right here. But it's been replaced and somebody has spliced into the, the things. I don't know why, but it, they did, but it's correct. So it is reading too, so either which way, um, I'm going to put a gauge for it. So that's why I'm leaving this open. And here, I'm actually going to buy some aluminum paneling, some nice not thick but the same thickness as this 
instead of cutting more of that and putting that on there because i got other things i can use that for so yeah but anyways the dash is complete uh i'm gonna start working on the front end and all this so i'm gonna move the truck up a little bit um yeah that'll be a different video though so i might do all that and record it after this one but um the dash is done like i said the the whole thing i'm keeping that still there's a couple of things i'm gonna be using reusing and all whatever so just stay in in touch with me through the youtube videos um but i appreciate the 251 subscribers already we're going up we're growing a little bit slowly that's all fine um like i said just like and comment subscribe i appreciate it hit that notification bell if it's even the option on my channel <laughs> but um yeah i appreciate it and i hope somebody gets inspired to do this as well and if you're not doing what i'm doing the project bison convert it to an 18 wheeler but want a custom dash this is the way you do it um so you know i'm just showing what i'm doing and it's possible to do it it's not hard uh if you know how to use power tools and stuff this is not hard i give out of out of 10 i'll give it half because there's things that you gotta bend and um, kind of fabricate a little bit here and there so it's five out of ten difficulty but overall it's just the time the time consuming part of cutting and measuring make sure it's right and do it the first time which i messed up there like i said oh well you learn as you go so don't do what i did <laughs> but anyways uh i'm in the end i'm gonna end the video for this one here i'll catch y'all on the flip side like i said like comment subscribe and i'll see you later